end of June, on that very last weekend, there's going to be three major events in our county. First of all, the Tabiona Rodeo. What a great, great experience. They have a rodeo on Friday and Saturday night. They have a parade, beautiful little community. And again, that's that last weekend in June. Also, that's Mighton Days. Talk about an old fashioned, you know, sack races, all of those things that just make your, warm your heart. And a parade, great food, and just a lot of fun. And then of course, the Ute Tribe Pow Wow. That is an internationally attended event. If you've always wanted to know more about Indian customs, about their amazing culture, come to that. Literally thousands of people come to the Ute Tribe Pow Wow that's in Fort Duchesne. And then of course we go into July 4th and who doesn't love the 4th of July? Now if you want to get dirty, you can come to the Red Mud Run in Roosevelt. That is a blast. People from 2 to 92, because you can do whatever obstacles you want, but it's all about getting dirty and having fun. That's held in Roosevelt City. Also over the 4th of July is Duchesne City. They do a parade, entertainment, food, and lots of patriotic programs. The 4th of July, it's in the middle of the week this year. So what a great time to get away. You can do all of those things right in Duchesne County. And remember, Duchesne City is only one hour from Heber. So you can do all of it in one day. July 21st is the Roosevelt Car Show. It is one of the largest car shows in the state of Utah, and it takes place in Roosevelt at Constitution Park. Then, of course, we do get into August. So August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th is Uinta Basin in celebration. UBIC is really a whole week of pageants, of free events, kids events. UBIC really is that event that brings everybody back to the basin. For the Saturday Night Entertainment, which is usually a nationally known uh, group, and it's free to the public, they fill up the entire side of the hill with blankets and chairs. You find your relatives, the relatives you didn't know you had, and the relatives that left the basin 20 years ago. And it's a good time for the whole family. And then of course from that, if you have any energy left, you go right into our county fair. It transformed this entire area, our fairgrounds. And there are so many events from animals, of course, stock shows, rodeos, baby shows, food events, uh, fruits and vegetables, 4-H displays, parades. The county fair is literally something that brings the entire county together. I know a lot of counties, well, every county has fairs. If you want to enjoy the flavor of a community, go to your county fair. But if not, come to our county fair and have the time of your life. And we just believe that it's a way to promote our people. It's a way to promote our patriotism. It's a way to promote the partnerships that we have. It's just, and it adds flavor. It gives something to look forward to. A lot of people are from the Uinta Basin and they love coming back because they were raised with these traditions, these events, these activities. It's all about making those impressions and memories. You know, when it boils down to it, it really is about memories.